Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can add a simple indicator to track daily sales or stock prices or just values as things change to mark them up, down, or flat as you're comparing uh, those numbers in a list of data. And we're going to show two different methods of doing this, a simple nested if statement, but the other way using a, probably a rarely used function in Excel called the sign function. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here we have a list of dates from October 1st to the 13th, and in this case, sales. And what I've put in column C is an indicator showing whether the values from the previous day to the current day went down and did them in a bold red, whether they went up in a bold green, or if they remain flat just in an unbolded uh, auto format or black. So what we did here is let's just look at the formula. In fact, I'm going to use uh, equals formula text to show that formula a little bit easier for you. And you can see we have an if statement that if B3 minus B2 is less than 0, put down. If B3 minus B2 is greater than 0, put up. And if neither is the case, then we'll just put flat. And then we went over to conditional formatting. If we look at manage rules, you'll see we added two rules where if it's up, put it in bold green. If it at cell indicates down, put it in bold red. So that's just a simple way of showing how you can make those changes. So let's say uh, for October 2nd was 2,900. You can see that changed to up and the next day then changed to down. So it automatically will adjust as you go through. So a simple visual to show you that. Now another approach uh, I've added here, you see I expanded the group that I had there set up. And in this formula, again, I'm going to look at equals formula text so I can see that formula a little easier. And we did a VLOOKUP. Here's our lookup table. We have minus 1, 0, and 1 will return down, flat, or up. So I use the VLOOKUP formula and then the sine function of B3 minus B2 and then reference this table and access column 2. Now how does the sine function work? Well if we say equals sine, you can see it returns the sine of a number. 1 if the number is positive, 0 if the number is 0, or minus 1 if the number is negative. So all our formula does is look for the result of the current day minus the previous day and then using VLOOKUP references this simple table and will return down, flat, or up whether the result of the sine function is minus 1, 0, or 1. So here you have two different ways of approaching the same issue. And again, if we just want to compare formulas here, you can see one using the VLOOKUP formula, the other using an embedded IF statement, and we got the same results. And again, we added conditional formatting just to have them stand out a little bit more. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.